one of the most underrated beaches in Central Florida is the Canaveral National Seashore Playa Linda Beach. Playa Linda is known for a lot of reasons, and if you go down to boardwalks number 12 and 13, you'll find out. But outside of that, it's a beautiful natural beach, really good views of uh, rocket launch pads. It's great to see those back out there. There was a pretty long lull where you didn't get to see that anymore. The purpose in coming out here today is to go check out Biolab Road. I've looked at it on the map a thousand times and it looks awesome. I've just never been over there. So today we're going to do it. So the charge to get in here in a vehicle is 10 bucks. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get in here. Or on foot or bike is a buck. But if you uh, get the Canaveral National Seashore Pass, which is $40, it's for a year, you can come out here you know, in an unlimited amount of times for a year. Plus, just to get on the Canaveral National Seashore is 20 bucks for one time. So. It's pretty worth it, I think. Especially, I mean, if you're just going to come over here once, then whatever. But if you live fairly close and plan on coming back, it's definitely worth getting an annual pass. I feel like there's unlimited uh, day trip activities out here. They don't like you to camp. I'm sure you could pull a stelter off, but being this close to the uh, Space Center, I'm sure they keep a pretty close eye on things. But tons of stuff to do in the day, fishing, kayaking, hanging out, sunbathing, that sort of thing. The camping they do allow out here is on the Spoil Islands, which is a little bit north of here. We did that earlier this year. You can go see the video. And that was awesome. That was really, really cool. We kayaked and canoed out to the island and spent the night. And I'll be honest, I could have been pleased on another night or two. But, and may do it in the future. But as of now, Outside of that, though, that's the only legal permitted type camping they allow out here. I'm sure somebody's doing it anyway. There always is, right? Some of the finest world, redfish waters in the world. And you know, I'm just sitting here watching the fish jump and wishing I had my rod with me right now. Should have brought it. But I bought the annual pass, so I'll definitely have to come back over here and throw a line in or two. This is my first trip down Biolab Road, which so far is great. Make sure to beware the coral-headed rattle moxins. Even the dead ones will tear your head off. Well, it seems like there's some sections of the road that are right up against the lagoon, and then there's some sections of the road that are cut off like this is. There's really not that many places to walk over, so... Man, that part might be a kind of a jip for your ten dollars to be honest and it's cool to see all the wildlife though i guess i haven't seen all that much today but anyway 
keep in mind this is a one-way road running from north to south, so you'll need to go up near Hallover Canal and then come back down. Here's a nice spot where the road joins back up with a little gun. Could definitely make a good fish today right here. Kind of a pullover of sorts. I'm sure on the weekend it's probably a little busier. I jumped out of my seat, rolling through here with the window down. This big guy right here jumped off the grass right here by the road and ran into the water. I'd advise against swimming with him. Makes you wonder what the original settlers of Florida thought when they found beautiful places like this and while exploring around, step on things like that. Day dinosaurs. Well, this looks like the end of the line. That was cool. A whole bunch of really good fishing spots up and down through there. Some uh, pretty big gators, so definitely might want to watch your step while you're hanging out out there. But, uh, we're back at the Canaveral National Seashore, the Playa Linda end, and we're going to start heading home. So thanks for riding along.